Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. My name is Nushami Binti Amrutif. I'm going to present about that seat, which is parallel operation of synchronous generator. Firstly, I will present about parallel to three phase synchronous generator under no load condition. Firstly, we construct this circuit. And then we set the parameter of induction motor and synchronous motor. The frequency for a generator one is 51.5 and generator two is 51. For a symmetry control, we set the total time is 3. And the VF for generator 1 is 105. And generator 2 is also set. For the, for the resistor, we will set 2.35. Both of the generator 1 and generator 2 for the resistor for generator 1 and generator 2 finally we set, we simulate this circuit and the result will be in the work form the value of, of RMS for this circuit it are not the same because it is in the no load condition For the question 3, to design the parallel connection of 3 phase synchronous generator, they have a condition. The RMS value for the line must be equal or the same value. The two generator must be in the same sequence and the two generator must be in the same phase and lastly the frequency of the New generator must be higher than the frequency of the running system. To design this parallel generator, the VI directional switches are added into the circuit. Then, lastly, the value of RMS will be the same or equal by adjusting the VF at G1 and the, GF, the VF at B2, G2 is remain constant. The, for the same sequence, we just set the value of parameter at generator 1 and generator 2 the same value. Secondly, when it operates in the base condition, generator 1 and generator 2 must have the same pace. Finally, at 0. Point, finally at 0 0.1 second, both of the both of the generator are connected in parallel operation which produce in base waveform. The frequency of generator 1 must be slightly higher than the frequency of generator 2. Lastly, at square wave source, the frequency is set to 0 0.33, 0 0.3333 and UT cycle will be set 0.24. Since the suitable time to two generator to connect in parallel connection is 0 0.71 second. From this circuit, we can conclude that when the time taken of 0 0.9 to near to 1 second, both the generator not in parallel connection since the waveform is not in place. When time taken 0 0.7 sec 
token both are the generator operating in parallel generator G1 in generator G2 are the same the RMS value for both generator are the same which is 433.9 that's all for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Rini Sofia Binti Abdul Muttalib. Today, I would like to present my part for question 1 and question 2 for 5.2 Behavior of Synchronous Generator Operated in Parallel Under Load Condition. For the 5.2, we said the resistor is 30 ohm and for the inductance, we said 230 mHg. For the both director, we set 51.0 Hz. For the question 1, it was the waveform of the line voltage of 2 3 phase second director for the time 1.2 to 1.5 second. After that, we simulate the second. So, this is the waveform of the question 1. It was for 1.2 second until 1.5 second. For the RMS value of the line voltage for generator 1 is 4.187 and for the line voltage for generator 2 is 4.271. It is slightly different from for line voltage generator 1 and for the line voltage generator 2. That's all. For the question 2, the question asks to design a parallel connection for the line voltage waveform of two three-phase synchronous generator. They have a several condition to design the parallel condition of parallel connection. Firstly, should have equal of the RMS of the RMS line voltage. Second, synchronous generator SG1 and SG2 require to ensure the resulting of output is in phase has same frequency and voltage. Third, three phase must be matched to prevent excessive mechanical and electrical stress to avoid power surge. Lastly, the form of the line voltage should be same such as the rise and fall together. Should be no different angle potential difference between the phase should be zero. Okay, for the step is first, synchronous generator two should synchronous generator two and synchronous generator two must run on different moment. The synchronous generator 2 runs for a duration of 0.1 second after the initial generator operating time as G1. Add on time to make it happen, which is consists of bi bidirectional three phase switch, not gate, source of square wave voltage, and on off control. Second, after that, the pass generator control the three phase by directional switch. The pass generator control the three phase by by directional switch. According for a time of 0 0.1 0 0.1 second, change the square wave voltage source. The frequency of the voltage of the square wave wave source is set to 0 0.2 second, and the duty cycle is set to 0 0.02 second. For the time step, the simulation control parameter is set to 0 0.00005 second and the total time is set to 5 second. 51 Hz is the frequency of both generators. Run the simulation and the line voltage of SG1 and SG2 are recorded. So we can conclude that the parallel operation exists at 1.36 second but the value of the line voltage between both generators is not the same. Since the waveform is in the phase, two generators work together. Other than that, bidirection, bidirectional switch are connected to the circuit to design the parallel connection. The 
Df of the Vf is 0 0.3 volt is set. Lastly, add another control line connecting each other to a sequence generator SG1 and SG2. Since the parallel operation occurs at 0 0.36 seconds, the square wave water source frequency is set at 0 0.2 seconds and the new data cycle is set 0 0.272 seconds. At 1.36 seconds, both of them in parallel operation generator that generate an increase. The form are connected. That's all for me. Thank you. Hi, Assalamualaikum. I'm Hayuni. For my part, I will explain for part 2 for parallel condition. And then for my part, I will explain for question 3 and question 4. For question 3, the question is to show and analyze the line current waveform of both synchronous generators and look before and after parallel condition for the time 1 to 2 seconds. And then uh, this is the simulation waveform that we get. From uh, the waveform, we can see that the waveform between them is uh, slightly different. Okay, for load current waveform, the result shows there is no difference and the waveform are in the same condition from 1 second to 2 seconds since it is uh, connected in series with uh, the generator 1. Okay, then for a uh, synchronous generator, which is SD1, the result shows uh, when uh, the time reach 1.36 seconds, the line current and waveform are changed a, li a little bit. But after 1.36 seconds, the waveform are start uh, normally, are start, to, are start to flow normally after uh, this uh, waveform. Okay, for the line waveform for a synchronous generator SG2, the waveform shows that there is no current flow until the time reach 1.36 seconds. But after uh, 1.36 sec, but after 1.36 second, the current start to flow, and after uh, 1.605 second, the line current is start to flow normally. Okay. In here, af after this uh, waveform, the current will start to flow normally. Okay, for uh, question 4, the question need us uh, to showing the current and voltage waveform of both synchronous generator and load after parallel condition for the time of uh, 4.5 to 5 seconds. And then we need to measure and analyze the real power. Okay, this is uh, the waveform that we get for equation 4. Okay, for the, um, for uh, this three waveform, we can see that uh, the waveform is uh, almost same, but the difference is uh, between the values after we measure the waveform for the real power values. In this uh, waveform, we need to set the time 4.5 second to 5 second in a parallel condition. Then we will get the value of a real power. Okay. So based on the result that we get, the highest real power are from line voltage and uh, current from uh, generator 1, SG1, which is uh, 8.8 811.295 watt and then uh, the second highest uh, values uh, for um, a, uh, for, uh, from line voltage and uh, current generator 2 which is SD2 which is uh, 193.1 watt ok lastly the lowest real power are from a uh, line voltage and current load which is um which is 100.4 watt uh, after the parallel condition 
Okay, that's all from me. Thank you.